How does music affect your mind and body? Does music have an effect on our mental health? My name is Bea and in this video we're going to explore just that and so much more. Before we begin, subscribe to Iconic for more content around psychology and personal development. And now let's get started. According to research, music is one of few activities that involve using your whole brain. Listening to music can be beneficial for improving your mood or even boosting your immune system. Hold on, hold on. But first things first. What is actually music to your brain? When you turn on your favorite song, the sound waves cause your eardrums to vibrate. This causes a chain reaction in your middle and inner ear. Eventually, these vibrations cause nerve impulses to reach your brain. This is how we perceive sound. Now let's take a look at how music helps us to connect with others, influences our body reactions, and even can be used as therapy. Let's start off with the first point. Music can improve our health. Music has the power to change our physical being. It can change the state of our autonomic nervous system, heart rate, temperature, or galvanic skin response. This means that your skin's electrical resistance is changed due to emotional stress, like you would see measured with lie detectors. So amazing that music has the power to do that, right? One research reported at the American Society of Hypertension that listening to just 30 minutes of classical, Celtic, or reggae music every day can significantly reduce high blood pressure. Listening to music has also been found to decrease levels of stress-related hormone cortisol. Higher levels of cortisol can lead to a decreased immune response. Therefore, yes, music can even boost your immune system. Which brings me to my next point. Music is therapy. Music can even help us in managing pain. And I'm not talking about feeling hurt after a breakup. It's been shown that listening to music can reduce chronic pain from conditions such as osteoarthritis or rheumatoid problems by up to 21% and depression by up to 25%. Music has been found beneficial in other areas too. For example, autistic children struggle with social interactions and expression. Through singing songs or doing rhythm exercises, their focus and memory was found to improve. And what about music as a productivity booster? Do you guys listen to music while working? I know that for me, it does wonders for my productivity and focus. There must be something behind that. According to a report from the journal Neuroscience of Behavior and Physiology, our ability to recognize visual images such as letters and numbers is faster when we're listening to classical or rock music. Music has also been found to have an effect on memory and learning. So the next time you're studying for a test, play that music with no regrets. Music also affects us on a deeply emotional level. It really does. It is even said to have more powerful influences on our emotional systems than visual arts. That's why music is so important in films. Have you ever watched a film that you felt unexplainably weird about and then you realized that there was no music? If you want to try out the power of music in films on your own skin, try turning the sound off during an over-the-top, romantic, happy ending kiss. Or during a super suspenseful horror scene. You'll see that a part of the magic will simply disappear. And just like that, terrifying Jaws becomes just a bunch of people splashing around in the sea. But let's not forget that music also fosters social connections. When you think about it, music is not necessary for our survival. It doesn't feed us, save us from harm, or help us in a fight. And yet imagine a world without music. It would be so dull. Sound is an amazing way to help synchronize and regulate emotions in achieving social harmony. Have you ever been to a concert where everyone was singing that one song in harmony and you felt like you were part of something bigger than yourself? It's like everyone in that one moment is feeling the same thing. Or how about this? Have you ever met someone with the same favorite band or artist and you instantly felt like you found your soulmate? 
our musical preferences definitely have the power to connect us with others. And feeling socially connected with others is a crucial part of well-being and mental health. Have you ever met someone who didn't like any music? I find it hard to imagine. But anyways, what do you guys think? Which song should not be missing from our playlists this year? Let us know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like music or if you enjoyed this video, that's fine too. I wish you all an amazing day and see you in the next video. Bye. Before we begin, eventually these vibrations cause nerve, Im nerve impulses. Through singing songs or doing rhythm exercises, they're folkery and me folkery. Uh, for those who don't know, folkery is the combination of focus and memory that apparently I cannot say separately. I know that for my producti producti but anyways, what do you guys think? Which which song? Hold on, hold on.